Well, you could say it's been an historic night of cutting with some legendary horses vying for a cash prize of $75,000 at the 2015 NCHA Futurity. It was for the open final of the slot cutting put on by Western Bloodstock and the NCHA and I'm with the man of the moment, Dustin Gonnett, all the way from Alberta, Canada and he rode this cat's got style and marked a 229. Congratulations, Dustin. Thank you. How does that feel? Oh, it's pretty awesome, yeah, especially being this pen, you know, and winning here. On that mare, I haven't been able to bring her down here before, and so this first time I got to bring her to Fort Worth, and it darn sure worked out good today, so. Well, she certainly lived, lived up to her name, this cat's got style, because, man, did she have some style today. Yeah, no, she felt good, you know, I had good work on her today, I've had good works the whole time I've been here on her, and and uh, I knew on that second cow when she kind of crawled around, I thought, okay, we got this. If I can just keep keep calm and don't do something I shouldn't do. <laughs> so. so she's a highbrow cat? Yeah, yeah, she's by, she's a highbrow cat out of Mom Style's Pepto. And what do you like about her, besides being an awesome cutter? Oh, just about everything, yeah. I mean, you know, she you can do anything on that mare. I mean, everybody makes fun of me, but I mean, heck, I have Dr. Jordan's on her in the open. I've, I mean, I cowboy on her, and I mean, she's awesome. I mean, you can go... Probably if people knew where I took her, they'd probably shake their head at me. But, I mean, it's, it's what makes her a good horse. And, and uh, yeah, she's just all heart, you know, and she's done, done me nothing but good. So. Okay, so take us through your run. What was your game plan and how it um, panned out as you were going through it? Well, when we were watching cows, I mean, uh, Eric Weishart, he knows them Mexican cattle better than anybody. And, and, uh, and Greg had been showing on them in the world finals, so they kept telling me, you know, just anything up and away, you know, and, and I've showed on them a little bit to where I know that, but I have to be honest, it's hard for me sometimes not to get zoned in on a cow that we'd been talking about, and, and honestly, we did. We went down there and we cut all three cows that we'd talked about, and, and I just knew if, I just knew if they would go forward, I was coming with them and see what happens, so, and it worked out. So, um... You were up against some pretty legendary horses, as we mentioned, Juni Wood, um, there was third cutting. Was it daunting to be competing in the Will Rogers Coliseum against horses like that? Oh, not so much in the finals. The go-round was probably a lot worse, you know, because there was tons of good horses in there. I mean, I forget what it was, 74 or 75 of the best horses. So, uh, yeah, the go-round was a little more intimidating, walking in there from, you know, not being down here that much and, and being up against them horses. But, you know, uh, once I, you know, we got in here and got my game face on, yeah, I, you know, it was awesome to be with them horses, but I just focused on what, what, what I wanted to go do. So, Did you have a feeling while you were doing it that this was a winning run? Uh, no, to tell you the honest truth, when I was done, I knew, I knew she was good. I knew, you know, I, I knew I'd cut my cows clean and, and didn't have any big mistakes or anything. So uh, I have to be honest, until they put the score up, I was just kind of like, okay, we, we, we did our job. I'll just let the things lay where they should be. And, and luckily they you know, luckily we mark good, so. Now, this win takes you over the million dollar mark. How does that feel? Oh, it feels pretty awesome. It was a goal. You know, my wife and I talked about it a couple years ago that I wanted to hit a million before I was 35 years old. And and then as this year started, I had a good spring on that mare and, and a couple of my other horses. I had some wins on them and I thought, man, you know, it in, in our country, we maybe don't have as much money to win as down here, but I thought, man, that'd be pretty cool if I could hit it this year. And, uh, and I'll admit, I was pretty close when I got down here, and I thought, oh, man, if I could just just do things right and hit it this year, it'd be just make my year awesome. And, and you know, we were fortunate enough to be able to do it. So, yeah, it's, it's just awesome. Well, yeah. You've been having a great show overall, haven't you, really? Yeah, I know. You know what? I was really happy with my three-year-old, and, and, and uh, I cut one kind of bad cow to not make the semis, but my owners made the semis and the non-pro and the, and the limited non-pro. So, I mean, the mare's been great all every go for us. And, and then obviously this mare's been great, so yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. And what did you think of the cattle tonight? Those steers, you know, generally they're always heifers that you cut in here. Um, what did you make of them? Well, I mean, they were dang sure tougher than what we'd had because they were kind of numb and loped around, didn't want to take a hold of you real good. Uh, but I guess that's one benefit with, with us is we get to cut, we cut all over the northwest. So I've cut steers like this before, and, and we, we'll cut worse cattle on that at home sometimes. So, I mean... It's hard. It's hard to sometimes go put a run down, but when you can, you just you just go for it, you know. Well, thank you and congratulations. Oh, thank you very much.